Hey, how's it going, fam? It's the Don here from Piggy and Don. Um, today, I want to bring you a quick look at Lots Island RV Park, located on Hunter Army Airfield. Hunter Army Airfield is located in a beautiful city, Savannah, Georgia. Um, this is a quick look instead of a review because Peggy and I have actually never stayed here. But uh, I think a lot of y'all might be interested in interested in checking out Lost Island. So let's go ahead and check it out. Take me arms, do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. So I'm standing here in front of one of the available spots here at Lots Island RV Park. This is spot number 10. It's pretty typical of many of the spots here. Um, so I would assume you park your RV on this gravel portion here. And then you have this uh, concrete pad, this paved path so you can set a table or whatever else it is. Um, in this particular spot, table is pretty damaged. But hey, I don't think Peggy and I would use this. It seems like it hasn't been cleaned or painted or whatever else in years. But it's available. You can see it's full hookup. You have your uh, sewer line there. And you have your power entry panel over here. Let me check it out. Yep, 30 and 50 amp connectors. That's a good thing. Um, light source, water. Basically, a full hookup site. It's a pretty long uh, RV parking spot. It's not very wide. If you have one of those 105 inch, you might want to make sure you let the person know because uh, I don't think one of those extra wide fifth wheels will be able to get into this particular spot. Um, I do want to show you one thing though that I have not seen in a while. It looks like each spot has one of these fire pits now y'all know I love a fire pit and these are very nice they have a uh, brick on the outside with air holes all drilled in through the side and a steel ring through the top this is actually one of the better fire pits that I've seen since we've been on the road so and of course it has a little barbecue grill there we would never use that it seems to be rusted or whatever else not well maintained or anything but we have our own little grill so i wouldn't worry too much about that so now you might be asking okay don where's the rest of it you know usually i would show you the laundry room the bathroom facilities or the shower buildings or any other kind of things it has there and the point of the matter is there is none <laughs> Lots Island RV Park is what you would call a bare bones, but it is actually better than I expected when I first drove on. The no bathroom part, because our RV only has one bathroom, would kind of make me shy away from this area because 
if Peggy's in the bathroom, I always just say, well, you go ahead and take your time. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the RV parks bathroom. But that's not an option here. Now there's a there's a target. <laughs> there's a target located not even one minute's drive away from here. Am I gonna hop in the car and drive the target to use their bathrooms? In an emergency, I guess I would. But hey, if you really wanna see Savannah and you wanna bring your RV with you, and of course you have access to military bases, this might be a place for you to consider. Now, if you come outside the RV park and make a left turn and drive for about two more minutes, you come to this park over here. Uh, as you can see, the grass has been getting cut, so it's a nice little play area, a little outdoor recreation area, because I noticed while I was driving around the RV park, there was really no place for you to like have a little fun, throw a barbecue, picnic, or whatever you like to do when you're um, on the RV. But this park, this, this park, is right across the street from a pier. So I'm gonna walk up there and uh, just take a look at the little boat pier to see what they offer. So the first thing I noticed is this sign here that says uh, how to handle uh, seeing manatees while you're out on the water. And also a warning about the American alligator. Please don't feed or play with the alligators. Now, I don't know why they need a warning for that. Who would wanna play with or feed alligators, but hey, there's a reason why they have the sign. So y'all notice I just walked out onto the little uh, pier and just turned right around and came back because that is very rocky. I guess they're using like flotation devices to keep the pier up, but maybe it's my size. I don't know, but when I walk out there, it is really not very stable. I wouldn't want to walk out there with a group of people. But hey, if you got a boat, this could be a great combo vacation for you. Also about two minutes away from the RV park is, this is Hallstrom Lake, I think it's called. Um, this is where you would come if you want to get some fishing in. There's no swimming allowed. Uh, supposedly they have some large mouth bass in there, but it is catch and release only. And for the other species, they have like uh, size and number limits, but it's located just two minutes away and it looks pretty nice and peaceful out here. All right, so before I let you guys go, I just want to make sure y'all aware of an issue that I was made aware of. Uh, supposedly, when you get heavy rain at Lots Island RV Park, uh, you get a lot, you get a couple inches of standing water. Now, again, I have no personal knowledge of that, but I was made aware of it, so I just want to share that with you guys. And so that's about it. I'm not gonna give it a star rating because this is not a, a review. This is just a look, but. Uh, Hope I can share some information with you and help you make a better decision or help you make a decision about whether you want to stay here or not, if you can. Uh, that's about all I have for today, fam. Just want to remind you guys to go out there and do something good for yourself and for others as well. Y'all take it easy. Take me your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one to